Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create Shopify meta fields to display short descriptions on your products. Check this out, on the screen, you can see we've already added a short description to this product using a Shopify meta field. Looks awesome, right? The best part is, you can create as many meta fields as you want with the simple method I'm about to show you in this video. So, stick around. That's really interesting, because, as far as I know, Shopify only allows long descriptions by default. There's no built-in option to add different short descriptions for different products. That's absolutely right. By default, Shopify doesn't let you add short descriptions, but this is where Shopify meta fields save the day. So, let's jump right in and create a meta field for short product descriptions. To create a meta field for your products, here's what you need to do. On your Shopify dashboard, click on Settings. From there, navigate to Custom Data and click on it. On this page, you'll see a bunch of options, but as I mentioned earlier, we're only focusing on creating a meta field for products. So, go ahead and click on Products. Next, click the Add Definition button at the top right corner. In the name field, type the name of your meta field. Since we're adding this meta field to display a short description, I'm going to name it Short Description. Now, here's something cool, Shopify automatically updates the namespace and key based on the name you type, so you don't need to worry about changing anything there. See, it's been updated automatically as soon as I added the meta field name above. If you want, you can also add a description for this meta field. This step is optional, so feel free to skip it if you don't need it. Alright, now it's time to select the type for this meta field. Click on the Select Type button. You'll see a variety of options like single line text, file, multi line text, and many others. Since a short description typically includes concise, key information about a product, we'll be using a text type for this meta field. To do that, scroll down a little, and under the text section, you'll notice two options multi line text and rich text. For this tutorial, I'm going with rich text because it not only supports multiple lines but also gives us formatting options for the text which can make it look more polished. Once you've selected rich text, hit that save button to save your meta field. And there you go, we've successfully created a meta field for the short description. Now, it's time to display it on your storefront. To proceed, simply close the settings page by clicking the close icon in the top right corner. Next, let's head over to the theme editor so we can display the short description on the storefront. From your Shopify dashboard, Click on Online Store in the menu, then, click the Customize button to open up the Theme Editor. Alright, now that we're in the Theme Editor, let's navigate to the Product page. Click on the top drop-down menu, and select Products. In the Products drop-down, you might see different templates listed. This will vary depending on the theme you're using to design your Shopify store. In my case, I'm using the default product template for all the products in my store, so I'm going to select that. If you're using a custom template, feel free to select the one that applies to your product pages. Now it's time to add a block that supports text because, if you remember, we selected a text type for our meta field. If it were an image type, we'd add an image block instead. The type of block you add always depends on the meta field type you've created. Here's how to do it. Click on the add block icon. You'll see several block options here, like text and rich text. The options you see may vary depending on the theme you're using, but the key is to choose a block that supports adding text. In my case, I'm selecting rich text because it's specifically designed for adding and formatting text. Once you've added the rich text block, click on the Connect Dynamic Source icon. From the drop-down menu, select Short Description, which is the meta field we just created. Finally, click the Save button in the top right corner to save your changes. And that's it. We've successfully integrated our meta field into the product page. Now, let's add some content to the short description meta field so we can see it in action. To do this, close the theme editor by clicking on the exit icon in the top left corner. Now that we've closed the theme editor, click on products in the dashboard. Select any product from the list. Scroll down to the meta field section. Here, you'll see all the meta fields you've created for your store. Find the short description field and click on it. Now, you can add the short description for this product. Let me quickly add some dummy text as an example. As you can see, I've added some text. Don't forget to hit the save button to save your changes. 
Once that's done, click the preview button to check out how it looks on the product page. And there it is. The short description is now displayed right under the product price. I've also added the long description below the add to cart button. You can add as many meta fields as you need and display them wherever you want on your product pages. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more Shopify tips. I'll see you in the next video.